Beatles Past Masters. Classic compilations in their own right. In recent years superseded by a single volume and a mono version. Now each one of these has the merits but I don't think any one of these on its own is the perfect Past Masters. So I'm going to try and build one today that I think is about as good as it can be. So in 1987, EMI started releasing the Beatles albums on CD for the first time. And they went with the original UK albums, those ones that the Beatles themselves put together and arranged the track lists for, rather than, for example, the American versions that were released through Capitol Records, which was largely out of the band's control. There was one exception to this, and that was Magical Mystery Tour. So in the US, that had been a, a full album, whereas in the UK, we'd had a much shorter EP. But EMI went with the, the US version of Magical Mystery Tour, and that's since been regarded as, as canon for the Beatles discography. And these two albums were released uh, shortly afterwards in March 1988, Passmasters Volumes 1 and 2, designed to bring together singles that weren't on albums, B-sides, oddities, rarities, so that, as it says in these booklets, if you have these two albums plus the other 13 CDs, you've then got everything that the Beatles recorded during their career. Now, what I didn't really sort of know about or care about for the first 20 years of owning these was that these weren't really authentic to the songs that were originally released by the Beatles. So where available, they used stereo versions of these songs. Now, the Beatles singles, right up until towards the very end of the career, were issued in mono. So we were kind of getting different versions here of certain things. And some of these stereo versions weren't even issued in stereo for the first time until years after the Beatles had split up. So whilst these are absolutely classic compilations, no arguments, I, I, I love these, they're not perfect. In 2009, when the Beatles remasters came out, we got a new version of Past Masters. It was all in one. It wasn't called Volume 1 and 2 anymore. It was just Past Masters over two discs. And essentially, they used the same versions of every song, just remastered versions of. And again, it's, it's a great compilation. We also got at the same time uh, the Mono Masters as part of the Mono box set that was released on CD, same time, September 9th, 2009. Now, this fixes, I would say, a lot of the uh, sort of unauthenticness of the original Past Masters. But again, this isn't perfect. So I've been trying to build what I think is, as close as I can get, the ideal Past Masters. And I'm gonna share that with you now. Now, in the Mono Masters, they made a decision that I really wish they hadn't done. And that is that there is the inclusion here of several songs from Yellow Submarine. That the, these are mono mixes that were made in, uh, in 1968. They were intending to release a Yellow Submarine EP, which eventually never happened. And they've included those on here. Now, whilst I would never not want to have these, I'm really glad that we've got them. I think it just really disrupts the flow of what this album is supposed to be. We'll go back to the, this original brief of that this is supposed to bring together the A-sides, the B-sides that weren't on albums, any oddities that were released during the Beatles' career uh, but weren't on regular albums. Now, those mono mixes were never released, so I think it's probably fair to say that the main reason that they were put on here was to sell more copies of this. It doesn't fit the original brief of what these albums are supposed to be. So personally, if I'm building my ideal Past Masters track list, I'm going to get rid of Only Northern Song, All Together Now, Hey Bulldog, and It's All Too Much, those original mono mixes. They're great, don't get me wrong, and I'm really glad I've got them, but I don't want them on here. Another reason why the Mono Masters can't sort of fully function as a, a way of gathering up all stray tracks is that it doesn't have the last few singles and B-sides on here. Uh, mainly, apart from You Know My Name, Look Up The Number, which was only ever made in mono anyway, so it does appear on here. And that's because, of course, they then started releasing stereo singles, which appear on here. So we have uh, The Ballad of John and Yoko, Old Brown Shoe, and Let It Be, the single version of Let It Be, appears on here, but it doesn't appear at all on Mono Masters because they were never released in mono. So it's understandable why they're not on here, but it means that 
this then doesn't serve as a, an all-encompassing way of, of gathering those rarities. So while both of these are great, we can do better. Let's start building our own. Now the ideal Passmasters track list, as far as I'm concerned, needs 33 songs. And it is the same 33 songs that are on the Stereo Passmasters album, but not necessarily the versions that are on here. But in terms of the track list, I think that is absolutely perfect for the brief of this album, for gathering all those stray tracks. Now, for the first 18 songs that take up disc one of the Past Masters album, I think we need to uh, pretty much take everything from the Mono Masters to make it as authentic as possible. Now, there is one uh, query on this one, and that is the song Bad Boy, which was re recorded by the Beatles. They kind of intended it exclusively for the North American market, and both the stereo and the mono versions were released at the same time. So, personally, I think that the mono recording of Bad Boy has got a little bit more punch. It's, it's just got a little bit more clout. That's the one that I would use, but if you prefer stereo for this, I would say you could throw in the stereo version of Bad Boy instead. But essentially, for the 18 songs that are on disc one of the Stereo Pass Masters, I personally would take all 18 from the Mono Masters. There's three songs on that first disc where it doesn't actually matter which version you take. And that's Love Me Do, She Loves You and I'll Get You. Because all three were only mono recordings anyway. And they have identical versions on both of these albums. So you could pick it from either. But for authenticity, I would take it from the Mono Masters. Now to build the second half of the album, things get a little bit more complicated, but for the first eight songs that are on here, which is uh, Day Tripper through to Revolution, I would say you take the mono version of the song in each case. Now sometimes uh, that, there's very good reason for that, usually because they were singles and they were released in mono in the first place, but Paperback Writer for example, the mono mix of Paperback Writer has got certain effects that were on the single that are just lost in the stereo version and, and the mono mix of Paperback Writer is so much better than the stereo version. It's one of the one of the biggest differences I think between mono and stereo on the Beatles is in Paperback Writer. It absolutely rocks. The Inner Light is another one where on the stereo version of Past Masters and, and the 1980s original version they used a stereo mix that just never even really got released until years after the Beatles split up. The mono mix, which has got very different uh, sounding instrumentation at the beginning of the song, that was the B-side to Lady Madonna, that's on Mono Masters, and that is the one that I believe should be in this compilation, because that fits what the Beatles released at the time. Now Get Back is an interesting one because it was at this point where they started to release singles in stereo. They still released it in mono in the UK but in the US it was released in stereo. Now I don't know uh, how, how they released it in various other countries in the world but we have started to get this difference here. Now I would say you can choose whichever version you prefer here. If you think that the stereo version is more authentic to, to your memories of the Beatles include the version from this album. If, however, you want a, a UK kind of uh, version of the album, then I would go with the version on Mono Masters. Exactly the same theory applies to Don't Let Me Down. If you want a UK variant of this, go with Mono. If you want US, go with Stereo. We've then got a few versions that we're gonna take from the stereo version of Past Masters, partly because some of them don't even exist on here because they were never done in Mono. So, The Ballad of John and Yoko and its B-side Old Brown Shoe, you will not find that on here, but it is on here. So, I would put those in next. Now, the version of Across the Universe that's on Past Masters, that was released on the World Wildlife Fund album, that was released in stereo back in the day. The version that's on Mono Masters is a mono mix that had never been released before until 2009. So as great as it is, we're not going to use that. We're going to take Across the Universe from the stereo version of Past Masters. Now of course we want the single version of Let It Be. That was only ever released in stereo, so again it doesn't exist on here. We need to take it from here, and of course as we all know that differs quite significantly from the version that was on the Let It Be album. So we need to have the single version of Let It Be, and we're going to take it from here. Now the last song on our Past Masters is going to be the B-side to Let It Be. 
you know my name, look up the number. Now there was never a stereo mix of that created. So although it's on both albums, it's actually the same recording that's on both. So you could take this from either. Because it's a mono recording, just for authenticity, I would take it from the Mono Masters, but it doesn't matter. And now what we've got, we've got a 33 song. What I think is just about a perfect Past Masters compilation album that, that really sort of uses authenticity of the versions that were released originally and it gets rid of some of the songs that they included on here that were uh, mixed for a, a Yellow Submarine EP but that was never released. Great as they are, brilliant, but I just don't think that they belong on here. So I've got an iTunes playlist with these songs in these particular variations in order so I can play that whenever I want. And it is a fantastic compilation. I just wish that this particular configuration of it was actually a, a valid version that you could buy. So it'd be interesting to see in a few years time, once hopefully they've finished remixing all the Beatles albums, if that happens, do we then get a new version of Past Masters that again brings these same tracks together in a remixed form so that all the tracks that the Beatles released during the career have had that treatment? I really hope that they do, but certainly in the meantime for me, this thrown together version that I've put together is going to be the one that I'm probably going to go to most often. So I would love to know what you think. Uh, do you think I've got something wrong here? If you do, let me know. Let's have a let's have a debate about it. I would love to see if you've got any suggestions as to how you might have done it differently. So let me know in the comments, and I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.